Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 12. And today we're going to show you how to build a simple form letter, and we're going to use that to motivate the use of arrays. So let's go to our Eclipse and right-click on our PHP Lessons and create a new project, new file, PHP file, and let's call that form letter. And go ahead and save. And open it up, and I should have form letter right here. And you want to click on that and bring that up, and I've actually got some code in there already for you to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple form letter, and I'm going to use a, several variables to bring into that form. So before we actually talk about the form letter itself, let's run it and see what we get. So make sure you come along here, go run configurations. Choose browse the form letter. Go to Math Lessons and click on Form Letter, and let's run it. And here's an example of what you're getting in the form letter. Dear Mr. Roberts, I once had no hair but used hippie hair for three hours, and now I'm bushy. Give hippie hair a try. The girls love it. Truly yours, I've got hair. So that's an example of the form letter. And I'm actually bringing in variables such as the name and the number of hours that I used it, and uh, if the girls or boys love it, they're all being brought in through variables. So here's my variables right here. I can have a Mr. or Mrs., a Roberts or Lively, uh, the number of hours, two, three, or four, or girls or boys. And so I'm using my curly bracket scheme right here that we learned in a previous lesson. Now I could have made this a lot more difficult. I could have put a quotes here and done a, a little space here and done a concatenation with that next variable and then actually put something else in there. But you can see how this curly brackets convention saves you a lot of time. And you can actually just put within the text quotes, just put the curly brackets and the variable that you want to use in those curly brackets. Now, variable one is Mr., so this form letter will read at first. So if you take variable one and you put it in there, dear Mr., and then variable three is Robert, so dear Mr. Robert. So you see how things are being substituted in. I once had no hair, but I used hippie hair for, well, let's choose a number of hours. Could be two, three, or four. Variable six happens to be three. I'm bushy, give hippie hair a try, the girls love it. So if I was a girl, I might, so if I send this to a female, I might say the boys love it. So that's one example, and that is very precarious. I mean, you've got to, say you had a mailing list and you had a thousand people on it, would you want to type in a, just a thousand variables for names? And the, and the answer is no. So there must be a way to make this easier, and there is, and it's a use of arrays. As a matter of fact, Arrays are the holy grail of PHP. So let's go ahead and define an array and use that array in a place of these variables. So it's very easy to define an array. I'll just come along here and put my array. And we'll just let that equal an array. And we're going to put the values in that array. And in this case, the first value is Mr. And then Miss. And once again, you know I like copying and pasting things because I don't type very well, and I'll make an error. Robert, so just go ahead and stick all these names and variables into your array. And then uh, Lively. And then I had two, three, four. And the last was Girls and Boys. Now notice what I'm doing in this array, which is I think is extremely fascinating. And if you've done a lot of coding, you will too, is I'm mixing variables. I have both names and numbers in my array. So what an array is, is actually acts like pockets. You're putting things into pockets, going to hold all that, and I'm going to reference those values, those variables in the array by numbers, okay? So let's come along here and actually do that. So now that we've populated this array, let's see if we can figure out how it works. So just to clean things up a little bit, I'll go ahead and comment out this first echo, and I'll put another echo in its place. So let's go ahead and control plus forward slash, which we learned from the last lesson, just to comment everything out at once. And let's just echo out a few values from this array. So, so one thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and just go echo, take the array, and the way I echo out a value, paste that, is I use a square bracket and I just put the number or position where that particular value appears in my array. So let's see if we can echo out the name Roberts. So if I put in a 3, for example, And then I save my program and I run it. Let's see what we echo out. And it echoed out lively. And that might not be what you expected. So let's go back and take a look at that. I put in the value 3, but I said 1, 2, 3. I thought I was going to hit Roberts. No. 
basically remember this that arrays reference no basically remember this that array reference starts with zero so basically what's going to happen this is your zeroth value this is your first value your second value and your third value so when i put a three in here i didn't get roberts i got lively because arrays start with zero now if you were a flash programmer you're going to remember way back and this shows my age in the days where the value one was the first value in the array. That is no longer true, never should be true, and it's always true that arrays start with a value zero. So just by putting a number in the square brackets, I can reference a value in my uh, array. So now let's redo our form letter using uh, reference values in our arrays. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment this at line out. And I'm going to uncomment what I just commented out. So what I do is I use, once again, my control plus forward slash. That toggles the comments back and forth. And instead of using value 1, I'm going to use array. I'm going to use my array variable. Let's paste it in here. And I'll call that variable 0 because I want to reference Mr. Let's do another one. We'll make that 2. And so I'm just going to subtract 1 from each one of these. So you make that 6. And the last one, we'll make that 7. So now what I'm doing, I'm more efficiently grabbing values from an array as opposed to trying to type out every single variable. And I left off a bracket here, so let's put it back in. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. And we get exactly the same thing back. Dear Mr. Roberts, I once had no hair, but used hippie hair for four hours. And now I'm bushy. Give hippie hair a try. The girls love it. Truly yours, I've got hair. Well, that's excellent. And so why are we using arrays in the first place? Because invariably, when you work with a program, you're going to be pulling data from a database. And that database data is going to come back and be populated into your program as an array. And you're going to use an array to manipulate quantities and things such as a form letter. So now let's say I don't want a mister, I want a miss. So I want to use not miss, mister, but miss. So we can use the, value, the next value in the array, which would be 1. And let's not make it uh, Roberts, but lively. That'll be 3. And the next value, I used it for 4 hours. Let's say 2 hours. Let's really get them going. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the first, fourth value in the array. Okay. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 2. So I use the fourth value in the array. We don't want to say the girls love it because we're addressing a female. We'll say the boys love it, okay? And what value would that be in the array? Let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we put 8 in there. And now let's save our program and let's run it. And when you run it, you see, Dear Miss Lively, I once had no hair, but uh, I used hippie hair for two hours. And now I'm bushy. Give hippie hair a try. The boys love it. So just by changing the variables in your array, you can actually reference different items in that array. And so in this lesson, what we did is we created our first form letter. We found that using variables was inefficient. We found that arrays were more efficient. And we actually substitute our variables for arrays. And, uh, and, we're, and we found that we could easily change uh, variables inside a form letter just by changing the array number or its reference. So we've used this lesson to motivate the use of arrays. And next time, we're going to go into more detail on how arrays work. Hey, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.